Hi Trader, this is Mario from Forex Other Way, the channel for traders run by a trader. In this video I will show you how to hit the market straight away, how to do it the right way. If you're still fighting with the market and you are breaking even or even, even you are on a loss long term, this video is just for you. Just a couple of minutes I'll show you how to do it the right way, how to assure yourself some money on forex market or any other market because this method I will show you right now works all markets, shares, bonds, whatever you try. But watch carefully this video because it's quite a few of details over here so just to get familiarized with this method you better watch it to the end. So let's start the rock and roll. So actually we are on Aussie dollar chart for one hour chart, but it works any, any chart you wish. I'm just showing this to you as the example. So I've got simple CCI over here. It's not that simple CCI adaptive smoother. You might find it on my webpage, but it works with any CCI. I got CCI set to period 21 instead of, of a traditional 14, which is default. So a CCI commodity channel index period 21 and I'll show you what I do. For determining the turning point on the market, what we need, we only need one single indicator. I won't do any geometry over here, I show you how to do with Indy, one simple Indy. As you realize here we got some cycles. So the length of the cycle corresponds to the future, the length of time to the next turning points. Usually it happens like that. So let me show you. As example, we've got over here, we've got a point, a turning point, a place where where the the line crosses zero value on CCI, I mark one line. And here we've got a, a rising trend, an uptrend. So I draw another line here somewhere. It's not here. Let's make it more precise. Sign like that. That's the one. So we got so we got it right now. Now what I do, we got a cycle here, from here to here, this is a length of the cycle. So next thing I do, I draw a line over here, try to be precise as much as possible, and that's the line. Okay, leave it like that. Okay, so next thing which I want to stress, this one you will see already when the candle is somewhere here, so you couldn't see it earlier. As soon as it crossed below, the new cycle is coming here, so you know that then after this cycle ends up from the bottom, in this case, you might measure length of the next cycle, and that's what you do. You just put it exactly wherever at the place where the new trend starts, so here market reverses when when you are, for example, at this day, whatever date is, 27th or the 2nd of September, you are over here somewhere, you might predict, based on this length, you might predict when is going to happen the next turning point, and looks how it looks like. That's the area. Well, all right, we got 100% heat over here. Let's do the next one, okay? Okay, so let's delete this line. Next one. Next one, we've got this cycle. What's length of this cycle? Let's draw it again here. This vertical line, it is like that, more or less. Okay, let's do another one. It's somewhere here, more or less. Again, we draw a line. And this cycle, we can see already when we are here. Let's presume we are here. And we are trying, so we get the line. As soon as we hit the top and the market starts falling, you're trying to realize when, where will be the next turning point. It shows us it's gonna be somewhere here. That's the one, okay? So, all right, let's delete it again. Let's delete it again. What did I do? I don't know. I know what I did. Okay, wherever we are, 
So you got the length of the cycle, like this one. You got the length of the cycle, another one. This one, let's draw another line here. We got here the length of the cycle, more or less. More or less, that's somewhere here. Let's draw another line. Let's see what happens next. So we got the line over here, all right. So from this bottom, because we can we can say what's going to happen over here. From this bottom, we measure where it is going to be next turning point. As you see, again, we got 100% hit with this method. Guys, it really works. Let's try another one, whichever you, you like. You might get longer trends like here. Okay, recently, it's Aussie dollar. We got a trend here. So we draw a line, one, more or less, it's, it's not precise. I think here's okay. Here's the place where, the, where it crosses zero value. We got the zero value here. That's the, and here's the length. So let's draw, let's draw another line over here. Look, we draw another line, make it more precise. Now, where is the bottom? The bottom was here, we might say. So we draw this line and we'll see what's going to happen here when it is going to be the next turning point. Oh, come on. It doesn't want to cooperate with me. I know what's happening. Okay, here we go. That's the one. So the next turning point will be somewhere in the future. I can even draw it over here. Look, 9th of March at 0, 0200 GMT plus 1. So that's the area where it's going to be the next point based on this trend. Oh, it's not from here, sorry. We have to measure it from here, not from here. It doesn't work like this. It's something further up. Oh, come on, babe. It does want to cooperate, you see, again. So it's from this one. So probably it's somewhere further. That's the turning point. 9th of March, 1100. GMT plus one. This is my server time. So probably we measure this one and we know what's going to happen. This small one as well, you can, you can measure from here because this one is here. So no, it's not yet. It's not yet. But this, this long one, certainly you can measure from here because it already made a rise, has fallen, whatever. So guys, that's how it works like. That's the way to do it. It's really simple. Let me show you another one. Oh, it's not this one. Here we got CCI. Wherever you try this one, it really works. Trust me. You got such a long trend over here. Look, this one, when you measure it again, this line will show you what's going to happen next after such a long period. That's the one. And if you draw a line again, here is the last one. I don't do anymore. Look, you, you do this one, just try to come on, babe. Here we go. And it should show us. It doesn't show us anything. Does it show anything or no? It's showing us somewhere. Here is the top. Let's, let's mark it and see it's somewhere here. Let's mark it and see. But it looks like a local top or bottom. That's the one. It's not that precise. It's not working 100%. Oh, here we are not precise, neither. It's not working 100%, but it gives you at least 80% accuracy. Guys. So it's very useful, very good for someone who is not yet certain of his abilities, of her abilities on the Forex market or in other trading markets. Guys, just try it. Watch my other videos. I'll see you next time. Thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye.